Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Firstly, I would like to introduce myself My name is Ahmad Zuhilmi bin Muhammad Zaki My ID number is MA19104 Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Akram bin Jamal Akbar And my ID is MA19099 Assalamualaikum, my name is Abdul Fattah Al-Hamdi My metric number is MA19158 Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Faisal Mustafa Al-Hattas Metric number MA19157 Today I'm going to discuss about the parts and the tools of the Lati machine uh, There is the head, uh, the head stock, the head source fixed on the machine It consists of many bullies, lever, spindle, chuck and gear boxes There is a spindle, the spindle is in the head box which rotates rotates a shaft which is connected to the chunk The chunk holds a workpiece so the work, so the workpiece also rotates You know, they get the idea There, there, there is the gear box, the gear box is in the head stock which rotates the chuck and the different speeds. The chuck is used for mounting metals, to metal pieces which are narrowed round shaped while having a triangle or square shape. The tail stock, the tail stock is a movable part that could be locked. It consists of barrel that can that can move forward and backward. There is the carriage. The carriage is also a movable part which moves on a bed ways. It moves on the left and the right. There is the saddle as well. <clears throat> the saddle has an itch shape. It is on the carriage which helps cross slide to move back and forth on the machine. And there is a cross slide. The cross slide is on the carriage and moves on the saddle. It moves back and forth and gives depth of the cut to the metal specimen by using the hand wheel. There is a compound rest as well. The compound slide is on the cross slide which can rotate. There is as well as the tool post. The tool post uh, uh, is the compound pressed and used to clamp the cutting tool. There is the apron. The apron is in the front of the saddle which has uh, hand wheel and levers. The bed. The bed is in the main part of the machine which is fixed. It gives support to all the parts of the machine like headstock, tailstock, and carriage, etc. And there is the weight. Weight is the machine on the bed which is actually the weight of the movement to the tailstock. As well, there is uh, uh, other uh, other tools that can be used. There is the power on and off, turning the the machine on and off. There is the brake, uh, the emergency brake. There is the the spindle speed. There is a spindle high or low range. It depends on the thread you want to reverse on the, or act or uh, you want to act clockwise or act clockwise rotates. So uh, that's all. Uh, now. I would like to talk about the safety precaution during the lab work. As we know, safety precaution is the most important thing that we must follow to keep ourselves safe during a lab work. So, I have list a few of safety precaution that the most important that we need to know. First, don't wear any accessories, for example, a watch, gain, and chain during the lab work. Second, always wear safety goggles during the lab process to protect our eyes from the flying chip. Then, always wear safety boots during the lab season to avoid any injury in case the heavy item fall down to our foot. Last but not least, do not play with any machine without permission and care from our lab children. That's all. Thank you. So, before we start the turning process, we need to measure the length and the diameter by using vernier calipers. As for my workpiece, we got 100mm for the length and 40mm for the diameter. Then, decide which part to be part A and part B. In part A, we need to center the tool bit to clean the facing surface. Then. Drill support hole. The first 60mm will turn down to 30mm of the diameter. After that, 25mm from the edge will turn down to 60mm from the diameter. The last part in part A is to turn down 10 degrees at 50mm from the edge. 
in part B first thing to do is cleaning the facing surface then re support hole then marking 35 mm from the line to turn it down to 22 mm of the diameter and lastly drill the hole of 25 mm 25 mm depth so here is the final result What I have learned from the lab is safely perform the various basic turning operations, then understand the procedure in performing the task. What I have learned is to understand the importance of controlling the dimension. It helps to check the errors and to take the corrective action so that deviation from standards are minimized and stated goal of the organization are achieved in desired manner. Learn so far from the lighting machines. The lighting machine is a very important tool or very important machine. We can make tools out of it to improve to improve our life in a in any shape or form. So it's a very important tool so we could uh, prosper it and we could develop it more. And I feel it's uh, it's not that complicated, it's very easy to use, but you need to follow the steps and of course the safety procedures, that's very important. So, Today I will talk about the importance of contro controlling the dimension. A lathe is a machine tool that rotates a workpiece about an axis of rotation to perform various operations, such as uh, cutting, sanding, knurling, drilling, deformation facing and turning with, tool, with tools that are applied to the workpiece to create an object with symmetry about that axis. I learned from this lab in this semester how can I use lathe machine and follow and follow the safety rules and the regulation. Thank you.